Feelings, welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I'm going to show you how to do your own press-ons from home. Super easy, super affordable. Like, you can do them in like less than 30 minutes. So, these are the ones that I did. Aren't these so cute? These are such a beachy moment. So ready for the beach. And literally, like, if you're an on-the-go or mommies that do not have any time to just sit down for like hours and do your own nails from home this is the best way to still look beautiful and elevated i only did one hand it's a great way to get creative like if you want it simple then you can just do it simple and that's it and then you just like glue it on with glue or like the sticky tag i am a certified gelix tech so i know all the details i wanted to practice this ocean vibes going these are the builder gel nails that i did not so long ago it was like three weeks ago and this is like the growth look how long they have grown isn't that so beautiful so first and foremost we're gonna set the scene we're gonna get our area nicely clean and sanitized i like to make sure everything is extremely clean and then i get my candle my little coaster we're gonna get some water because girl i'd be dehydrated also i like to put a napkin at the bottom of the dental bib then another napkin on top just so i don't ruin my vanity these are the essentials that you will need is your uv lamp your tips gel polish colors i got mine from beetles a lamp just so we can fully look into what we're doing i love this one because it has so many settings and so many light adjustments this magnetic stand is extremely well in order to manage your press-ons a lot more when trying to make a design individually i absolutely love it i love this gel top coat it's very very shiny and then i get this double-sided tape and apply into the nail stand like so i first do it all together there's some that are sold individually um which i haven't bought yet this is the only one i had and then i just cut it and then i just peel it off it's super easy to do it takes me only like 10 minutes to do the process as you can see i removed the red thingy and it's a little sticky from the bottom like so and then we're gonna be measuring our gel tips these are the ones that i use for gel x they are gonna be sized sidewall to sidewall as perfect as possible you can't really tell that they're sidewall to sidewall because i have no i have builder gel on my nails but they're close enough that when i apply them i can file the sides and make them according to my size you see this one fits really good like so and then we're just gonna stick it on to that area right there that we just peeled off and as you can see i flipped it over and it doesn't come off whatsoever it's extremely strong that's what we want because we're gonna be doing some designs and we're gonna then put that away we're gonna grab our buffer we're gonna gently buff the top shine off of it and leave a really smooth area in order to apply some base coat before we apply the base coat i wanted to show you these beetles gel polishes i absolutely love them so you have the base coat the matte top coat and the top gel um this one's absolutely great and shiny as well and look at the different colors for summer that we have first and foremost we're going to start off with applying our base coat you can see the consistency is a little more runny and that one we're going to cure that for 60 seconds after we finish applying it to all our tips I do want to give you guys an announcement that this lamp has been absolutely amazing. I love how the underneath is like mirrored. It's supposed to be better when you try to cure your polish. So for the base coat, we're going to be using Misty Rose in the shade 6. 
and uh, this one is from born pretty i will be linking it down below it's more of a pastel nude looking one and we're just gonna do one coat first cure that for 60 seconds and then do another one just for it can be a little more darker but still being able to see your natural nail at the bottom and we're gonna cure the second coat for 60 seconds So I'm going to be showing you a little bit of the backstory of how to do these designs. So I did not have a yellow color and we made a yellow color like so. And I wanted it to be like pastel. So the first, I believe this was the pointer finger. I made a French tip and I made another French tip. But this one, I wanted to look more like a shell. So... The first yellow French tip, I cured that for 60 seconds and I went ahead and went to the other French tip and I did not cure this. I applied the white line of the French tip, then I grabbed my brown and make these squiggly lines like so to make it look more like a shell. And after we do this, then we're going to cure that under the light for 60 seconds. So we're going to be grabbing these pearls, these flowers with the gold and these little gold gems and we're going to be using this to sculpt out the flower. And we're going to use the Makarat glue sculpting but first we're going to be applying top coat and curing that for 60 seconds. I'm using my favorite one although the Beatles one actually works really well as well. I'm going to be flipping it over just to elevate it. After it is cured, we're going to wait for 15 seconds because it just came out of the UV light and we're going to be trying the sculpting, which I thought that's what it was going to sound like, but no, I got the wrong one and I'm going to have to do some more research, try to figure out which one is the one that you can make the ball with and actually sculpt it out really well. If you are a nail tech and watching my video, please let me know down in the comments which one it is because I really want to purchase it because I want to start practicing these arts. I absolutely love them. I cure it for 60 seconds and then I apply the gel polish color I desire on top to make it look like a flower. And then I cure that for 60 seconds and then apply top coat once again. And cure that for 60 seconds so as you may notice you every gel polish that you apply you have to cure for 60 seconds you cannot apply no more than six layers because it causes bulkiness okay moving forward we are going to be gluing the gems like so this is self-explanatory you lay down the glue you do the little swooshy motion and then you apply your pearl like so i do like to go in with a small lab and curing it for like three seconds four seconds or so just so it can stay in place so then at the end when you have all your gems all together you can cure everything at once inside the uv light for 60 seconds And once the gems are cured, you are all done. And this is the outcome. Even though I did not have the correct product, I absolutely love how it came out. Obviously, I need more practice. However, like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure to turn on your post notifications so it lets you know whenever I post. Bye. See you in my next nail video. I will be back with more videos of how to elevate your look with your nails. Bye-bye.